finish off with something a lot of women are going to be pretty excited about. We all know how important mammograms are in the fight against breast cancer, but they're not always the most comfortable experience. Yeah, engineers have been working on a new device for years aimed at changing that. University Hospitals is actually a part of uh, the study, and this new technology could become standard in a matter of weeks. Several years ago, University Hospitals became the first site in Northeast Ohio to offer 3D mammograms. If I compare these two images, I can actually scroll through the breast, kind of like looking at different pages of a book, as opposed to just looking at the cover of the book. The technology is now standard care for mammographies and has been shown to not only find more cancers in the breast, but also decrease callback rates. Even so, getting a mammogram can be a very unpleasant experience. Some patients won't come to get their mammogram because they're worried about the pain during the exam. Not every patient has pain. Some patients do, though. Some of the complaints include pinching or pulling along the chest wall and pressure on the neck because because of the paddle, which holds the breast in place during the mammogram. Trying to make it as comfortable of an exam as we can, I think is really important for women. That's where the smart curve paddle comes in. The edges are much more curved. It's less rectangular. It's not only curved this way, but this edge is much more curved. And if I put it on the slant here, you can see there's a little bit of a curve here as well. And women say it makes all the difference. 95 to 98% of those who experience pain with the standard paddle reported much less pain with the new smart curve paddle and there's no loss in quality okay all set the images still look just as good as they do with the routine paddle as they do with the curved paddle such a simple alteration mm -hmm. making a huge difference. Now, Dr. Pletcha tells me the smart curve paddles are already being sold. They could be offered to the public in weeks. And she also, of course, stresses the importance of women getting screened, starting at age 40, and then going back and getting them done every single year. Wow.